It does not represent a change at all in our policy. It's very consistent with everything that we've been saying we want to get done here. And we get to decide what our policy is. The Prime Minister's office seems to be indicating through public statements that we somehow changed here. We haven't. We appreciated the willingness of members of this council to take some of our edits and improve on this resolution. Still, certain key edits were ignored, including our request to add a condemnation of Hamas. And we did not agree with everything in the resolution. For that reason, we were unfortunately not able to vote yes. However, as I've said before, we fully support some of the critical objectives in this non-binding resolution and we believe it was important for the council to speak out and make clear that our ceasefire must, any ceasefire must come with the release of all hostages. Indeed, as I've said before, the only path to a durable end to this conflict is the release of all hostages. I would do an ashkor jami a'da al-majlis على المرونة والعمل البناء الذي مكننا اليوم من اعتماد قرار طال انتظاره قرار يطلب وقف إطلاق النار بغزة فورا من أجل وضع حد للمجازر التي لا تزال للأسف مستمرة منذ أكثر من خمس أشهر خمس أشهر داق خلالها الشعب الفلسطيني كل أشكال العذاب كل أشكال المعاناة لقد استمر حمام الدم طويلا وبأشكال بشعة وأصبح من الواجب وضع حد له قبل فوات الأوان Thank you Mr. President 三万两千多无辜平民被夺去生命，对于已经逝去的生命，安理会今天的决议来得太迟了。但对于上百万仍深陷前所未有人道灾难的加沙民众来说，这项决议如果能得到全面有效落实，还是可以带来期待已久的希